Radio Woodstock 100.1. We're live from Hunter Mountain, Mountain Gym 8. Let's go, Mets. <laughs> Greg on, Gatine is Dude, leading a chance. Let's this go, morning. Mets. I was going to wear my Let's Santa go, Mets. It was like dirty, had wine stains on. I was looking for my Mets jersey this morning to wear <laughs> here. I saw you had Piazza. Yeah, but I got a Santana one, but it had like wine stains on it and stuff. So oh, you got to get a new one now. Yeah, well, home or away. Yeah. Where'd you have home or away? I had a home. Okay. White, white with the blue pinstripe. Did you watch the Mets game last night? I Johan saw it Santana last night. I saw it. I no saw it from the fifth inning and on. Yeah. And I was just sort of flipping in between the basketball game and you know back and forth. Then all of a sudden, I was like, damn man, this guy about to do a no hitter. <laughs> Let me tune in. Then I ordered Chinese you start food. Calling everybody. Well, no, I was on Twitter. You know, I was hitting people on Twitter like, "Let's go Mets!" <laughs> <laughs> After all, so many years watching Mets games all my life, I yeah. come here and, and I see, and, and the first no hitter happens. Of course, could you imagine? I, I almost wanted to cry though. I had that feeling like, "Wow, can you believe this? Everybody been putting the Mets down all year. <laughs> we got a no hitter. You know, we headed of the Phillies. What are we first? We second, right? Second place. Yeah, game yeah. out. A game out, right? Who would have thought it? I didn't because I was bashing the Mets all on Twitter before the season. <laughs> I was like, I'm giving up this team. I hate this team. Never give up on the Mets, man. You can't give up on your team. I was like, want the Will Ponds? Just give up the team. Please. You know, so. We're here at Mountain Jam today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. Robert Randolph, thanks for coming up. And Thank John Medeski's here, too. And you guys are playing as the word this afternoon. Yeah. Word. 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 word, word, word. So I, I want to hear the story of how. North Mississippi All-Stars, John Medeski of Medeski, Martin and & Wood, and Robert Randolph came together. John's going to tell it. Well, I'll start it. You can finish it. <laughs> <laughs> you just fill in the blanks, Robert. Yeah. There is no finish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's another, another era. Well, we, um, Luther Dickinson of the All-Stars and I have been, you know, talking about doing an instrumental gospel record for a couple of years. We see each other. Oh, we got to do this project. We got to do this. And, um, because we shared a love for a lot of this music. And one of the things we had gotten into was the Sacred Steel movement and, you know, that whole scene. And it was amazing. Um, we were blown away by it. We had actually heard Robert on this live record. This one, you know, and it's just this searing track blazing away on it. <laughs> yeah. And um, so we, you know, we set us time to do the record, and we were about two weeks out, and Luther brings this recording in and says, Check this out. And it's a recording of Robert playing Voodoo Child in somebody's studio. And at that point, we just assumed none of the guys really played outside of the church because it's a, you know it's a serious church music, and um, so we're like, ah, Robert's out, let's get him. <laughs> so, so we we, we went, you know we talked to him, you know Luther, I guess Luther talked to you, right? Yeah, man. And brought him, you know, and he he opened up for his band from church opened up for them at the Bowery Ballroom. I went down and checked it out. It was they were. Incredible. What year was that, John? Uh, two thousand. Yeah, around two thousand. I was still working then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I was yeah. doing what? A, a day job? Yeah, I was working at a law firm. At a law firm? I was assistant paralegal at a law firm. <laughs> suit and tie. He was, was. It, was that your career track? You were going to be a lawyer? Yeah, I was ready. He wore a suit at the gig, his first Remember? gig at the Bowery. <laughs> <laughs> he had a suit on for the gig. <laughs> and then Robert came down to the studio and we recorded. And I have uh, that tape too from the Bowery Ballroom. Yeah, it's really? amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. I wow. have that, yeah. And then um and then uh, I think it was, it was like in October and Medeski Martin Wood was doing their Halloween show that we were doing every year at the Beacon. Right. And we invited Robert down and he came down and sat in with us. The first show I've been to and it was Halloween, bunch of hippies, <laughs> <laughs> pot smoke everywhere, you know. I remember I got home from that show and I was look wow, this is crazy. I was living with my father then. You know, seems like I, you know, seems like 50 years ago. <laughs> He's like, man, you've been smoking pot. What have you been doing? I'm like, nah, man, I just came from the wildest thing you ever seen. <laughs> Desky Martin Wood at the Beacon on Halloween. It was wild, man. I never forget that. I walked in. That was the first show I ever been to. Yeah, and now look what happened to him. <laughs> So from there, Robert, the, from there you <laughs> formed Robert Randolph and the Family Band? That came after? Uh, well, we were sort of doing some stuff before. But not like as part it, of the jam band really scene. Nothing. That was for nah, the church. We were just, it was like church. Now, we started to play some bars and stuff, you know, in Brooklyn, Manhattan, you know, at the time. Hyde but, Park. But we had just started, though. <laughs> Hyde Park. That was a little later after. But we had just started, you know. So it was all sort of happening at the same time. Because I decided to leave the church. <laughs> <laughs> was that all right with your family? No. 
<laughs> is it all right now? He still has time it's to fine go. Now he still has time to go back. Everybody's fine because I pay all their bills. All right, good. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, how often do you guys all get together as the word and perform this way with N North Mississippi All Stars, Medeski and Robert Randolph? Well, it's hard because we all have individual things going on. We're all really busy, so. To get to get it together takes a while. Like five years ago, I think was the last time. Yeah. We you know we toured on the record when it came out in '01. I guess we did one little run, and then other than that, we've gotten together just a couple times since then. I think uh, for you know different festivals. We never really did another tour, did we? No. Just gigs, just individual, a couple of run, a couple just of hits here and there. A week here, maybe a week here, a couple of festivals. Bonnaroo yeah. once. Yeah. Twice. And so like yeah, I think one time yeah Bonnaroo. I think we had an offer at Bonnaroo, which kind of brought us back together again, and we we worked something else around that, but. This is the first time again. We you know got together a couple of days ago. Start played again, rehearsed a little. <laughs> really? Yeah. Had came up with about a, came up with about 15 new songs. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't recorded anything together since? No, then. we bought the record. We're talking now. about it. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's we're about to get in there, you know, because everybody else tells us our bands suck. You know, <laughs> we'd rather see you with the word. Yeah, okay. so we're gonna yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's back. It's been five hey, years. I like that, hey, that, that new record you made is okay, but man, I want to hear you with the word, man. Yeah. You know Keith from Lightning 100, right, in Nashville? I saw he ever talk about. Reverend. Yeah, the Rev. Right? The Rev. He's always like, man, yeah, when are you going to get together with the word? I'm like, hey, man, come check out some Robert Randolph and the Family Man, too. He's like, man, when are you going to get together with the word? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Rev. So what we're going to see this afternoon is the first time you guys have played in how long? Five years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. It was fun. We, it was, yeah, it was fun. It's so easy. We get, to, you know, it's unbelievable. We get together and it's like instant glam. Yeah. Yep. So 4:30 in the afternoon today on the Mountain Jam stage, North Mississippi All Stars, John Medeski of Medeski Martin and Wood, Robert Randolph, The Word, performing for the first time in five years at 4:30 in the afternoon. We're broadcasting live from Mountain Jam 8. I'm Carmel. We're here with Robert Randolph, John Medeski, and Greg Gatine. So uh, let's see. We're talking about Hyde Park Brewing Company. Company, and that was back when? I think 01. I think it was 2001. Might have like that. been, yeah. 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 Yeah, because the word had spread that you got to come see this uh, this guy and, and this the sacred the steel, sacred steel. And, yeah. and come and see this guy. And we went and saw Robert, and then he was at Mountain Jam, and he came back to Mountain Jam. The, the first Mountain Jam that yeah. we had in 2005, Robert was here for that. Did we play that? Oh, yeah. Actually, the word did too. Yep. Oh, wait, no, no, it was no, no. Medeski Martin Wood, no, we did. Robert Randolph, okay. the government yeah. mule, and uh, like one other guy. Okay. Xavier Rudd. Yeah, Xavier yeah. Rudd. with the big uh, didgeridoo. The didgeridoo. Right. The yeah. barefoot yep. Australian guy. I remember that. Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice. wow. Now, do you remember that, that gig at the Hyde Park Brewing Company? Was I that definitely your remember the Hyde Park Was that your Park first Brewing. radio gig? First radio gig. <laughs> <laughs> How's that strawberry? It's great, man. That's from Wright's Farms, our friends who had the Cupcake Festival in Gardner. Uh -huh. They're here. They just picked these this morning. They got the cupcakes, too, the triple berry cupcakes. <laughs> They're good. Oh, man. and I got some apple cider donuts. I just drove up here from Jersey. If somebody's so I didn't good. Even eat yet, so I'm hungry, you know. All right. <laughs> well, we got a surprise for you, Robert. We actually have a recording of Uncle Ted's Jam from the Hyde Park Brewing wow, Company. Wow, really? Yeah, we got it right here. Man. You ready for it? Play it. All right. Radio Woodstock. <laughs> 